I am a woman, you hear me roar. Hi, I'm Barbara Bothavina. And I'm Leela Basuk. And we are two powerful, successful, intelligent young women. Barbara here is planning on becoming a doctor one day. And I enjoy strawberry Pop-Tarts. The success of young females may not have been possible if it weren't for some amazing pioneers in the STEM field. So get ready because we're about to tell you about some of the most hardcore women who changed the world of science. All from our May Stop state of Iowa. Our first featured woman is Nancy M. Hill. Hill began her career as a Civil War nurse. After the war, she went to medical school at the University of Michigan and became one of the first female physicians in the United States. Can you imagine being one of the first female doctors in the country? It's crazy. She founded an organization that provided support to single mothers and their children. She also specialized in obstetrics and brought over 1,000 babies into the world. Including me. No, not you. She also founded the Women's Rescue Society in 1896. This organization provided support and shelter for mothers with no husbands. Way to go, Nancy! Next up, we have Ada Hayden, who was the first woman to receive a doctorate from Iowa State. She earned her PhD in botany and then went on to teach at ISU. Most of her work centered around prairie preservation in Iowa. You could say she built this prairie with her PhD. Hayden also introduced over 40,000 specimens to the herbarium, which is sort of like a real life Webster dictionary of greenhouses. Wow, 40,000 new specimens. How do you even come up with 40,000 new names for plants? Like, just off the top of my head, all I can think of is like, planty, planty, leaf, McLeaf, rutabaga. In the field dominated by men, Hayden set an example of a hard-working and passionate woman. Peggy Annette Whitson is out of this world. Is that a pickup line? Maybe. But she really is amazing, especially considering she grew up in Beaconsfield, Iowa, a town of less than 20 people. She kept telling skeptics that she was going to be an astronaut. As if. A woman can't be an astronaut, Barbara. Everyone knows it's impossible to apply mascara in a zero-gravity situation. Well, see, Leela, that's where you're wrong. Although she was a woman in a male-dominated field, Whitson was eventually picked for missions to the International Space Station in 2002 and 2007, logging the most days in space, 377 of any female in NASA history and became its first female commander. Interesting, you know, maybe she opted for a fake eyelash instead. During her first mission, she grew soybeans, which led to a new water filtration system used in hospitals. She also did medical experiments on drug delivery to cancer cells that are now going through their first trials on Earth. Whitson hopes that will be her lasting influence, showing the young people of Iowa that no matter how little the place you grew up in, you can do big things with hard work. Wow, the state of Iowa has produced some incredible females in the STEM field. We hope that this video sheds some light on all their groundbreaking accomplishments and inspires future ladies in science.